All right, well, James Maloney announced his retirement at the end of the Super League season with two premierships, 14 origins and three tests. Jimmy has won it all and he's had plenty of fun along the way. James Maloney, what a player. Smith, Maloney into space. And here's Maloney breaking into the backfield. Bursting through is Maloney, and Maloney will get the first try of the game. Maloney, he's away. Williams chasing. Minicello is there, looking for one more. He finds Kenny Dow. They go coast to coast, and it's the Roosters' premiership now. Maloney stepping. Maloney, right foot, straight through them. The Sharks after 50 seasons of rugby league finally had their hands on the trophy they've been seeking. Lovely ball, great play Australia. Maloney scores their third. Good is short. He's got the one sock, the one boot. Yeah, Gillette lost his boot. Oh, intercepted by James Maloney. Maloney challenges Graham Quick with Hayne Dummy, puts it down. You know, there's probably a few guys in there that have played their first game and win a series, but I think there's a few of us in there that, you know, probably probably understand a little bit more how, yeah, just how special it is. Maloney for Brazil, he's over. That's an origin try. We say bonjour to Jimmy Maloney in the south of France. How are you? Good. How are you guys? Really, really good. Now, Jimmy, when you announced this morning on your socials it was time to hang up the boots, it's been a wild ride. You've loved every minute of it. I've got to say we have too. There's been so many wonderful moments through your career. So why is now the right time to retire? Uh, look, I, I've sort of been thinking about it since uh, this preseason. Uh, it was probably the first preseason that felt like a bit of a drag, and um, you know, it just felt different. And um, I still, still like playing. I still like playing on the weekends and enjoy the games, but all the training and thing that goes with it. Uh, you know, I'm sort of getting a bit over. That. It wasn't fair to the to the boys, to the club over here. If I wasn't 100 better in it to go around again, so um, yeah, right time. Jimmy, you've had one of the great careers, and congr congratulations on that. I want to just peel back the layer a little bit, and I want you to s help us understand how you're able to, to go to clubs, get the Warriors to a grand final, then you go to the Roosters, you win a grand final there. You go to Cronulla, you win a grand final there. What, what's the art of, of just adding that little bit of polish on teams to get them, that extra p performance out of them? Yeah, look at it. I think I know rugby league really well. Uh, I've got no, no doubt I know the game well. And, um, I think I've been able to go in and work out, uh, you know, that it's not a one shot size all sort of do. And there's a different ways you can play rugby league. Wherever you are, you've got, you've got to play it to just foster that you've got. Um, I think I've been, been sort of get in there with the players and the coaches at, at each club and work out the best style of play for that, that particular team. Um, add, add bits in players in what I can do, I suppose. You, know, you certainly had it down to a fine art form, Jimmy. Did you have a favourite club of all the clubs that you had success at? Uh, mate, I enjoyed them. They, they all offered different experiences, made up all on really good terms. Um, yeah, it's hard to be, mate, mate great. Great relationships, with all sorts of people at all those clubs. So enjoy, enjoyed the ride, and I enjoyed moving around rather than you know spending my whole career at one club. You know, it's helped me. It's kept me. I've enjoyed the different. Oh, I've moved. Well, Jimmy, you're just breaking up a little bit, but let us know. Catalans is at the top of the Super League ladder at the moment. Would you like to say au revoir with another Super League grand final, another premiership ring to add to the collection? Yeah, that would be the, the big goal when I first signed over here. I can finish on a... a that would be the first. 
fingers crossed, eh? Well, Jimmy, are you at the beach? Can you show us where you are? You know where I'm at? I'm at yeah. Remember Sam Moa? Sam Moa's got a cafe down there. <laughs> <laughs> That's beautiful. Well, well done, Jimmy. Yeah. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Look, there's the great man right there. Oh, look. <laughs> wow. Hi, Sam. <laughs> hey. Just Amazing. a couple of blokes living their best life in the south of France. Oh, uh, mate, we'd love to come visit. Now, don't hurry home because it's certainly not as nice here, that's for <laughs> sure. Jimmy, we we'll love you. You're a larrikin, but we'll definitely remember you as a winner. Thank you so much for everything and all the best. Pleasure, guys. Thanks a lot. <laughs> James Maloney there. He's one of a kind. Is he one of... That's where Sam Moa went. <laughs> no. Oh, I have been wondering. Yeah, oh, I was actually. He was part of the premiership oh, side. Yeah, that's right. That's amazing. Amazing. He was a rock. Yeah, it was a front row. I remember uh, when Mark Hughes was on the verge of going uh, playing the English Super League. He had an offer from the playing Catalans. He had another one to play at Huddersfield, I think it was. And he said to Matty Johns, what do you what do you think I should do? And he said, mate, listen. <laughs> Just go. <laughs> he said, why would you want to live in northern England when you can live in the south of France? It looks he's, beautiful, oh, doesn't come it? On. And James is like beautiful. and again, he's a he's a winner there. He's leading the points. Yeah. He's just unbelievable. And like he's a country kid from Orange, son of a champion bush footy player. I think his dad was captain coach out at Orange. He's, he's just got that infectious way about him, good or bad, that, you know, he, he draws people to him. You want to watch him. You want to listen to him. You want to be beside him. He was, one, he was one of those players you couldn't wait to get him and you couldn't wait for him to go. <laughs> I remember asking Jonathan Thurston in an Australian camp one year, I said, oh, are you excited about getting back into camp with Jimmy Mullaney? And he looked at me with a funny look and went, Sort of. <laughs> <laughs> no, Jimmy's a champion. That was great to catch up with him. We wish him all the best. Is he going to come home, do you know? I don't think he is Vaughn. I think, true to form, we know he lives and breathes the game. He wants to stay over there. He's going to play Reggie's uh, over in the south of France and have a glass of red wine at half time and then go out and have another crack at it. So, he had yeah. an outstanding career, didn't he? Like win, winning comps at two different clubs, played a grand final also with the Warriors, was outstanding at Penrith in bringing through the, the young halves that mm. are now there. He just Success at Origin. Absolute superstar player. Like, it was a great decade of rugby league. I'd love mm. to know what his favourite moment was. 